פעם ביער הלכתי וקולם של ציפורים שמעתי וקולם של ציפורים וזמרים מזמורים שלום There's a fascinating Gemara in Masechet Brachot. The Gemara asked the question, does the Kadosh Baruch Hu wear tefillin like we do? Surprisingly, the Gemara says, yes. In fact, it discusses where he, what shape it is. Does he have a yud in the back of what would have been his head? The Gemara then comes and asks yet another question. What is actually written in his tefillin? אמר, לגמרי says, אמר לי רב נחמן בר יצחק לרב חייא בר אבין, הני תפילין דמרי עלמא מה כתיבו? The תפילין of the creator, the master of the world. What do they say? And answers רב נחמן, מי כעמך ישראל גוי אחד בארץ? Who, like the people, your nation, Israel, is the one nation in the world, speaking about the specific uniqueness of עם ישראל, and what God chooses to put in his תפילין, is speaking of the uniqueness of us as a people. This, of course, is the mirror image of what we have in our tefillin. In our tefillin we write, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Hashem, our God, is one. In God's tefillin, Am Yisrael is one. A mirror image of the two things. And indeed, two of the four parashot that we have written in our tefillin speak about the uniqueness of God. The separateness of God, the fact that He's one, the fact that He chooses to rule the world through Sahar Va'onish, through reward and punishment. And these descriptions of God are indeed descriptions of God. They say nothing about us at all, just about Him. These are two of the four parashot, but yet there are another two parashot, two chapters written in the tefillin. Both of them appear at the end of our parasha, parashat Bo. These two chapters speak not of God's uniqueness, but of God's relationship to us. At the end of the parasha, we hear about different mitzvot relating to Yitzhak Mitzrayim. When the child asked his father, why do we do these mitzvot? The answer is, God, I do keep these mitzvot because God took me out of Egypt. And this declaration will be constantly on your arm and your head in our tefillin. We choose to remember We choose to remember that with a strong hand God took us out of Egypt. This memory is not so much telling about God's power as it is telling of how God used His power to save us. In our tefillin we declare two separate things. The uniqueness of God and our relationship with God. The fact that God chose to use His power to save us from Egypt. And we declare by putting the tefillin on our head that we're not just believing, we don't only believe in His uniqueness, we rather also believe in His special relationship with us. And we stress those two, two facets. The fact that God is one, the fact that God rules the world, but the fact that He chose us as His people. Shabbat Shalom. Gangen am Menschen,